I'm just filming. Oh, okay. But why though? Like, what is it for an art project or something, or just just because? Okay. I'm just filming. I'm just filming. Are you filming me? Yeah. Why are you filming me? Just. Are you, are you allowed to film me? You're violating my privacy right now. Why are you filming me? You're following me, filming me. Why? No, I didn't follow you. You're walking behind me all the time. When? When? When did I follow you? you fo you're filming me. Right now you said you are filming me. I'm just filming. Filming people. Would you please delete this what I am in right now? How? You can delete it or not? I can't. I call the police right now. It's allowed to film in public, really. You cannot film me. You cannot stay in front of my face and film me like this. You, what do you want to do, man? You want what I want to do? fight right now? I didn't say I want to fight right you, now. You are very... Did I say I want to fight? I said I'm going I'm going to call the police if you, you would like to You can call the police, here. man. I, I don't mind. If you like I to stay mind. here. Can you, I ask you with friendly... I can can't, please I delete, can't it? delete it. Why are you filming Look at this me? camera. I see you standing right like this in front of me. I'm, just, I'm filming all day. You're filming me like this. You're standing in front of me like this. I ask you. And right now you still are. I'm still filming, man. Yeah, can you please do not what? film me? Don't touch me, man. Please don't touch, touch me, man. Please, I'm not touching I'm asking you. also nicely. I'm not don't asking, touch me. I'm not touching you. I'm also asking, I'm asking that it's allowed to I'm, film in public. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. Can you please do not point this at me? All right. Can you not stop following me? Can you please do not point this at me? Can you stop following me? Can you stop me? pointing this at me? Can you stop following me? Can you, you are the one who's following you, me. Right now I'm walking back. Look. Listen, and you stop, are following me. Stop filming me. Can I turn around? Yeah, please turn around. All right. But can you please wait for me until the police comes? Why do you because want to call I'm, the police? I'm going to call the police. You're filming my face. You're standing right like it's this. It's a public space. Okay, can you please stay here? What? You want to arrest me? You want to stay here? You want to arrest me now? You want to stay you here? You want to arrest me now, sir? I don't know what Don't to follow me. I'm going to follow you. Well, then I'm going to film you. Film as much as you want. Right. This is a normal statue in Rotterdam. This is uh, perfectly normal. No filming, please. But it's a uh, it's a public space. Okay, you're right. I'm right. Public space. How's your battery? Will it be strong enough?
Je wordt ook gefilmd. Ja. Yeah. CCTV camera's. Everything is registered what you're doing. Yeah. I know. It's allowed to film. illegal in Holland. No, 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 it's allowed to film in public. Uh, no, this is, uh, this is my private section. Yeah, but you're in a public space. Yeah, but you have no right to film me. So, what is going to happen with uh, your film? I'm just filming. Yeah. Hey, this is interesting. What's going on? Deze aan het opnemen. Ja? Wat? Is somebody going to confess here? This is a confession booth, right? Ja, het is. Wat is dit voor? En deze mensen zijn promoting de Bijbel. Wat is er aan het Ben je van Nee, het is een Oh. Ja. Dus ja, het is een openbaar plein. Maar het is niet zo prettig om. Nee, uh, nee dat snap ik. Je weet niet wat er met je zelf is. Kijk, je bent het gewoon altijd al. Ja, dat snap ik. So, can I confess? Or? Nee, ik snap het. Ja. Can I confess? Wat fijn hoor dat je dat ook uh, deze minuten doet. Ja. Yeah? En je hebt beschikbaar opgesteld. I want to confess because I'm filming in public and people get upset. Ja, laat het dan maar door. Oh. Ja, die is ook Can I, uh... okay. Is somebody there? Meneer, waarvoor is dit? Kun je mij dat vertellen? Mag ik meekijken? Wel, papa dat is altijd zo. Ik ga hier een jaar Ja, zij is er ook hè? Oh. Oké, okay. <laughs> So guys, yeah. can I ask you something? Sure. Wait, you have to be in the same frame. What do you think about interracial marriages? Fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't have a problem with it. You know, what is race? You know, black and white, yellow, yeah. brown. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's something special about it. I... What is your opinion? Same thing. <laughs> Ja. Ik heb het niet gezien. 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 Ik heb het niet gezien.
Van az az ott ott a Any more questions? No. Bye bye. I'm just filming. into the pool. Holy shit. What is now the reason that you do it? I'm just filming. Yeah, why? Why? Yeah, man, why? Why? Why, you, why you make pictures? Why? It's a public space, you can film. Ah, you must no. you, you must, you must ask on the people eh, for the make it for you. Sorry? But it's a public space. Yeah, but not from Belsen. But it's allowed. Calm down. I'm just filming. Oh, you're just filming. Just filming. For a documentary? No, not a, not a documentary. No. For what then? For... Just... Just filming. Nice. So it's like an experiment? Or just filming? Just filming. But you do it more often than like just film someone? Do you do that more often, just to uh, film someone, like uh, like their face? More sure. Can I ask you, do you do it more often to uh, to film people like this? Sir. Yeah. Why do you film like this and, and uh, not answer my question? Oh, because I'm just filming. But is it a, an, an experiment because you did not ask me, you know, like filming like this? Or what is your motive?
Nice weather, huh? Yeah. It's really nice weather. 22 degrees or something. It's good weather to film people. Yeah. It's good weather to to think and to feel. To feel? Yeah, or to try to feel something. You want to you want to feel something? No. Yeah, I want to feel something. You know, I want to feel less. Do you know that feel when no girlfriend? Huh? That feel when no girlfriend. That feel when no girlfriend? Yeah, when no girlfriend. What does that mean? The feeling you get when you have no girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know it. Yeah? yeah? I, just, I, I just broke up with, uh, with my ex-girlfriend and it was, it was my choice. But, the, but now she has another one, another, ma another man, and it just fucks me up. Yeah, I know that fucking feel, man. Yeah. I know that feel. But you know, to be honest, mm. normally, always, be because I'm a pretty social guy, I, mm. I, I would be really uh, enthusiastic about this, because then my language would be good and everything, and I'm still enthusiastic about the, uh, this. About, about what? Like, like the film and Oh, stuff. I, thought, I thought you were talking about your no, girlfriend no, no, breaking no, up. About, oh. about the film, but, but the funny thing is, and, and, and maybe that's why I, I like it, like uh, now I'm I'm um, I'm for a week long I'm really having uh, anxiety and, and like uh, tension and like really in my head. Mm. So now today I, I was finished working and I'm I'm really stressing about nothing actually. Mm. And I'm like uh, walking outside and it's really good. And all of a sudden, because the the good thing about anxiety is, uh, or, or or the or the thing about depression or anxiety is, there has to be something that breaks you out of it. Don't don't think about it. So now I'm, I'm like here, I'm like uh, trembling a little bit, I'm, I'm like thinking about a million things um, that, that is not going to happen and mm. all of a sudden you are filming me. Oh. So I, I find it really interesting for you and for myself, but I'm like, how the hell am I going to react to this? Be, because like normal, I would, um, I would, re I would react uh, way more easier or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, and but now I'm a little bit more tense, so I'm like. Wow. Yeah, but but on the outside, you look like just a normal guy enjoying the sun, chilling yeah. in front of the big church, yeah. maybe looking at a cute, thirsty girl. But yeah. from the inside, you're you're struggling with a lot of things, right? Yeah. yeah. You have like a lot of uh, uh, fights going on inside of you. Yeah. Which I perfectly get, man. It's like women. Yeah. Women can just pull you inside out man especially yeah. ex-girlfriends especially when you're the one that you know decided to quit it and yeah. then you have like thoughts about fuck who is she gonna meet yeah and who am i gonna meet and is the person that i'm gonna be meeting as good as her yeah i've struggled with that a lot of times a yeah. lot of times yeah. where are you from you you're from holland well i've been living here quite a while but yeah. uh because your accent seems Dutch. Yeah? Or well, th thank you for the compliment. Because where are you from? Well, I'm from Eastern Europe. Yeah. So. And where? Well, the, bi the biggest country. There. Russia? Maybe. Nice. Maybe. Nice. But yeah, yeah I, uh, when you get into that comfort zone of a girl really liking you, yeah. I don't know if you have the same thing. Yeah. But she starts to cook for you. You have like good times at night if you know what i mean then you wake up breakfast is ready she's very interested in your life in what you're doing and then just all of a sudden you just you think nah i'm, I'm looking for something else or I'm, I'm done with this yeah do you feel like that like you yeah you yeah for sure for sure but that's also the age are you over 30 i don't think no so. no, no i'm 22. you're 22 oh so you're a young guy Whoa. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, but now I want to know, because I find it really interesting, do you, do you study film or something? I'm just doing an experiment. Yeah, it's an experiment. And the nice. experiment is, uh, what is uh, the experiment? to basically not talk to people yeah. when, when I'm filming them. Yeah. And I want, it started off with uh, filming people without saying anything. Yeah. And then when they freak out, I'll be like pointing at a <laughs> CCTV camera and saying, hey, the government does it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if one silly person with a with a basically a shitty cam because yeah, this yeah, thing yeah. is just it's yeah. not even full hd but uh no but the funny thing is it on or is it off it is or, on, oh, it is on. Okay. i am just filming yeah, but yeah, yeah. uh yeah that was basically the experiment but, but right now it starts to get 
it's just transforming into some I don't know what like basically just filming life outside yeah. even though sometimes people want to kick my ass yeah for, for sure baby because yeah. I was like here you know because uh, I don't know if I would have a bad day or something and you would hear like yo uh, we would be on the grass rolling yeah. and just tumbling and just you know did it happen or something like that no but people did just you know threat and yeah today just some dude wanted to just kick my ass because I was filming him yeah. basically call the police all that uh, all that yeah, fun crazy. stuff even though you know the government does it all the time yeah man. and who knows who's on the other side people are saying yeah it's for the safety yeah. do we 100% know if it's for the safety yeah you know but what are you doing with the with the clips are you making a documentary about it are you making I don't know right now I'm just thinking like what should I actually do with it yeah because do you get a anything meaningful out of it? Because if um, the most of the people are aggressive, because I'm now like 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 uh, trying to have a conversation with yeah we're having a conversation yeah and I f and I find it really interesting why you do it, but um, if you listen to the to like the deepest thought of your inner soul or inner brain, if that's the way you work. What is actually the thing you want to do the most if a random guy sits next to you and starts filming you without <laughs> asking? Like the, a genuine answer, what would you do? Yeah, without you talking to me. Without me talking to yeah. you, yeah. Shit. What maybe, would I like to do? I don't know. Um, maybe something with the camera? Maybe you want to grab the camera? or? No, I... My first, my first Im impulse was this is really interesting what is going on in, in, in his head because um, I have friends who had a psychotic episode or something so <laughs> it, it's really strange but now I told you um, last few days I had a little bit of anxiety yeah. so, so, so some of the first uh, things that were coming to my mind what was right, like that right. okay, well what, maybe what I'm in the same boat yeah. you don't know that no. maybe I'm also dealing with the same yeah. thing yeah. just a different thing yeah. Who knows, right? So that was my first impulse, you know, it was really uh, interesting why you do that. Yeah, it's just... When I was down and I was depressed, I was like... Wait, you went out and you kissed girls? Yeah, uh, sometimes, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it gets, it's really hitting home yeah. close with that one, yeah. yeah. Eventually, I don't know what it is, yeah. but some men just tend to, when they're comfortable and when they have everything, they yeah. just want to risk it all. It's crazy, right? It's fucking crazy. It's crazy, it's crazy how it and then a couple of months later you want to give everything you have just to be with that person again or yeah. maybe just to change it or maybe just yeah it's fucking ridiculous yeah, I don't yeah know. well well now I, I i'm also thinking you know i'm i'm, I'm not want to be back with her because uh it just didn't work out like like our uh our relationship, you know, it was a great thing for me that also, what I told you, you know, like, mm. if you're not in love with someone, then you don't force it, because then, yeah, maybe it comes, or maybe it does not come, but especially when you're young, it's really a, a difficult thing, you know? Mm. I know, you know, if you listen to other guys, or experienced guys, they always say, uh, there's, what do they always say? They always say there's gonna be more fish in the sea, you know? Like, dude, she's not that special. Yeah. She's one in a billion here. Everybody's the same. Yeah. Then on the other hand, I believe that because you automatically, your brain starts to think this person is really special, especially when you have like intercourse a couple of times, when you spend days on end together, yeah. you start to build this connection, this chemical connection, right? Yeah. And then when it's gone, you're like, fuck, I'm never going to meet that person again, or something like that. It's really terrifying, but then I, if you think logically, you will meet somebody that is the same, or even better, if you think logically. But we yeah, don't. And, and I know logically, because because now, like, uh, a few weeks ago, I met another girl, and she's, like, way more my type, and she's, that's great. But now, the other thing that's really... Uh, uh, that's really the thing, and of yeah. course, is that I have a kid with my ex. You have a kid? Yeah, I have a daughter. Ooh, yeah, I don't. I can't speak of that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> no I'm, I, I'm also pretty young, and, and I and I and it was not planned. But now she's a year old, and she says she's really awesome. Mm. But now uh, that's the thing, because normally I was like, okay, I'm letting my girlfriend go, my ex go. Yeah. 
but now I'm dealing with her every every week, and uh, and, and 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 still when she's with another guy, and my head goes all around and around. But I had to make the choice because it didn't work out together. So they have to make the choice to let it go. That's the thing, man. I can't speak of that. No, Maybe no. if I had the similar experience, I would say, yeah, I know what you mean, or you yeah. know, it's gonna get better, or yeah. whatever. But I think you know, I hear it all the time. Yeah. Guys having kids with other women and just moving on. You, it's hard. Yeah. It must be incredibly difficult. Yeah. So maybe that's the that's one of the how do you how do you, how do you call it the, the main reasons that I have a little bit of anxiety right now. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm gonna film some other people, man. But it was a nice conversation. Yeah, you're gonna film it, but it's control control system design. Sorry. What are you doing? Hey. Hey, man. What are you doing? I'm checking video on. What are you doing? I'm just uh, filming. Hey. Hey. Stop this. Oh, no, don't touch me, sir. Yeah, stop. Oh, you can't touch me. So don't film, uh, film us. But it's allowed to film in public. Yes, you but you, you can follow us and film us, right? I can what? You cannot follow us and film yeah, us. But it's a public don't space. Don't do that. But it's been like five meters. You you can't do that. It's hil 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 humiliating. Humiliating? Why? Yeah. I'm just do that. I'm just filming. Don't do that. I'm just filming. What's going on? Calm down, sir. Calm down. So where are we going? I want to be your friend, guys. I don't want to be your friend. You don't want to be my friend? No. Oh, okay. What are you doing, man? I'm just filming. Is it interesting? Yeah, I think you guys are very interesting. But I wanted to ask you one question. Sir. And then I'll stop filming. Sir, can I ask you a question? No. Can I ask you a question? Uh. Sir. <laughs> Sir, are you a spy? Sir.
I'm just filming. Oh, okay. Do you have documents or CD or signing? No, just filming. Uh, okay. Come on. Bye. Let's go. Have a nice day. Hey guys, if you ever wondered how you can help me, there are some things you can do. Uh, firstly, I have opened up a Patreon page. Four people are already members. To those people, thank you, thank you, thank you. Secondly, uh, there's a GoFundMe page where you can just drop any amount of donations as you please. And lastly, please share the video if you don't have any money to spend. Just drop my link in a very busy Facebook page or a big ass community on Reddit. Thank you. Oh, I don't want to be. Oh. Oh, I don't want to be 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 taken. No, I do so. Sorry. Well, I want to call the police. If you do this. You win. That joint? You want to smoke? Do you know how many times people offer joints to me? You look like <laughs> you look like you look like you do. I look like I smoke? Sometimes. Well, that's not a compliment. Maybe because of your beard. Because of beard. Man, I love to smoke weed, but it's fucked, man. Too much is not good for you. Some people can handle it, but uh, some, some once, once in a while, that's all right. Once in a while. Yeah. So what do you consider you once in a while? You should. If you can't take it, you shouldn't smoke it. If you use it medicinally, it's all right. Once in a while, just to get relaxed, you know. Yeah, yeah. I've heard about it. I saw so some other guys. Muscles and all that, you know. So if you, if you if you're tense, then stuff like that. Joints. There's this guy on YouTube. He's called Sicilian Andy, and he has medicinal uh, marijuana. He just gets it from the pharmacy. What the fuck? Yeah, that's that's better, man. Even even better. I, I hope they legalize it here. You know, because then if the government is 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 within it, right? If it's legalized, they have to pay taxes and stuff like that. Then you get the good stuff. You know, you don't get shit no more. But do you do you see the the dangers of of weed? No, if it's if you if you're gonna go buy a bottle of, a bottle of wine, you know. You know what's in it, you know mm. the ingredients, you know everything about it. Right, and, and right. The, 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 you know, there's the, the institutions, you know, to, that check it all up. So you know what you're buying, you know what you're... When you go buy weed, you know the name of the weed, but you don't really know the companies, you don't know how, how strong... No, it is, no, no, if you buy it in some kind of store, no, you don't. But if the... Yeah, I understand it. If yeah. the government just does it, you at least have an idea it might be good. At least you will have an idea that it's, that it's clean, that it's made all right, you know? That's what they're saying, right? Yeah. So, if you yeah, smoke weed, you be, for, for us it's better to have uh, a tested good weed. Right. And if the government does that, it's even better, you know? So, the, the dangers... But I was talking like about dangers like... Uh, you know, Amsterdam or the Netherlands is being promoted as... Uh, as this paradise, right? In most countries, you can't smoke weed, but here it's okay. You want shrooms? Okay. You want ecstasy? It's not allowed, but it can get easy. Getting it? Uh, you have, uh, you know, in uh, the South American country, they legalized weed now. And in America, you've got a few states as well. In America, they legalize weed. You know, it's not Texas, San Francisco, and I don't know, LA or something like that. Some states they legalize it, and it's so it's going really well. You know? mm -hmm. People are really because you don't have to buy it; you buy it from the shop, but you know what you're buying. Yeah. So. Yeah, exactly. You know what you're buying. So I don't mind 
paying tax over weed uh, because I pay tax over wine as well, over beer as well, you know? We're paying taxes for everything. For everything. Fucking but man. when you pay tax, at least you have the good stuff. I think they should legalize it. Have you had any bad experiences with uh, with weed? No, I mean, zero bad experiences. No, zero bad experiences. Not, uh, no, not bad experiences. Never smoked so much. You're like, fuck. What is reality? No, you don't. No? You don't get. You know, it's uh, how do you call that? It's, uh, it's a positive. Uh, that positive high, you know, it's not like, right, like right. hard drugs, it's not like cocaine, you need more and more and more. Right. The more you get, take, the worse you get. This is like, the more you smoke weed, the only thing happens is you're gonna get sober. So you, you and maybe lazy a bit, sober. maybe lazy yeah. a bit. Yeah. So you smoke yourself uh, sober again, you know, after 10 <laughs> joints, it doesn't matter for you no more. Wake and bake, that, right, wake and bake. Yeah, if you do that with heroin, you're dead, man. If you do that with <laughs> if you go yeah, over if top you, with well, I don't, I don't have experiences with heroin, man. But yeah, you know the overdoses. Yes. You heard about people overdoses. just fucking dying. Yeah, people yeah. die about overdoses. And that's the negative high, you know, that you can die of the overdose is a negative high, and the positives are high. The positives are you can't, you can't really get worse. You, know? <laughs> you can't get stoner than stone after the first joint. <laughs> I know, but sometimes I wonder if. If you know, have you ever had friends or people that you know and you're like, dude, you can't handle weed, man. Why are you smoking uh, weed? Of course. But once there was, 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 was a guy who was knocked out for three hours. He yeah. asked me, he said, give me any joint. I said, no. I, he said, I don't smoke. Why I want to smoke? I said, you can't take this. It's too heavy for you. He said, no, no, it's all right. And then he smoked. He was gone. He was knocked out. So. Yeah, he didn't respond? He didn't respond. He was knocked out. He just sat down on the couch and then he went knock out. He dropped his head down like that. And. You could wake him up, you could, nothing, you know, and I got scared, so... I yeah, of course you're thinking, yeah, but what if he dies? What if he dies, what yeah, happens, he fucking you know? dies. So, But this is what the right. tourists don't understand. They don't hear stories like this, you know, they only hear good things. And, you know, I was, I met this homeless guy once in Amsterdam, and we found this joint, like this big. That's lying on the floor there. Like, who the fuck would throw away a joint? The tourists, they can't handle it, they just they throw it away. It's too strong. It's too fucking strong. You know, they're gonna get sick, they start to space out, maybe they feel like they're gonna pass out. And these are the stories you never hear of. Like, it's always, you know, most of the time weed is right. It's okay. You know, if you if you use weed, uh, uh, if you use it medicinally, it's all right. If you use it uh, uh, for recreation, you know, once in a while, it's all right. Mm. So, uh, that's all right. Sir, thank you for the stoner talk. <laughs> You're welcome, man. <laughs> You're welcome, man. It was an interesting conversation, but I don't think we both heard anything new. <laughs> no, we didn't. No, 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 but everything is all already. It's all, <laughs> it's all figured out already. Hey, have a good day, though. Thank you, man. Thanks for the offering of the weed. I appreciate no. it. But, uh, no problem. I need to film some more people. <laughs> have a good day, man. Thanks. Nope, I'm gonna film your ass. Damn. <laughs> hey. Damn. Shit, don't get mad at me, bro. One, two. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He doesn't like that, maybe. Oh my god.
Yay. <laughs> you want to fight, bro? You want to fight? Trying to help. No? 